When this farmer saw what his cow gave birth to, he was shocked and amazed, and he couldn't stop screaming. David and Julie Ingram ran a cattle farm in Bonan, East Gippsland, Australia. They worked hard every day to take care of their cows and provide for their family. The man and his wife had been married for many years and had faced many challenges together but had always managed to overcome them by working as a team. They were known in the neighborhood as the most hard-working and dedicated cattle farmers. The couple's business thrived and continued to grow year after year. Their farm was a fairly large one located on the outskirts of the town where they lived. The main building was surrounded by a large open pasture where their cows grazed, and they had a big barn where the cows sheltered during bad weather. David had inherited the farm from his father, but in the beginning, it was much smaller than it is now. The man and his wife's diligence caused the business to thrive beyond anyone's imagination. The couple cared for their herd of cows with great dedication. They knew each cow by name and treated them with kindness and respect. They would spend hours each day ensuring that all of them had enough food, water, and shelter, and that they were always healthy and happy. They also had a veterinary doctor who came around often to examine the animals. They took excellent care of their cattle and never compromised their health and safety to save a few pennies. The couple became a reference point for all the farmers in the neighborhood. They saw how well their farm was doing and emulated their practices. As experienced cattle farmers, David and Julie had developed a deep understanding of the birthing process for cows. They knew the signs of a cow going into labor and could anticipate when a calf would be born. They would monitor the cows closely in the days leading up to the expected delivery date, looking for signs of distress or discomfort. The couple was also skilled in assisting with difficult births, as they knew that sometimes cows needed extra help during delivery. They would help the cow position herself correctly and would carefully pull the calf out if it was stuck. They were also adept at handling newborn calves, ensuring they were breathing properly and nursing them soon after birth. Furthermore, the couple extended their assistance to other farmers whose cows had complications during the birthing process. In addition to their skills, the man and his wife had a deep empathy for their cows and were attuned to their needs. They understood that giving birth was a stressful and sometimes painful process for cows and would take extra care to ensure each one was comfortable and well cared for throughout the process. Their dedication to ensuring a safe and healthy birthing process for their cows was one of the reasons why their cattle farm was successful. Running a farm was not easy work, but the hard-working couple was up to the task. The Ingrams had a special purebred Hereford cow on the farm who was known for being a healthy and reliable breeder. One year earlier, she had given birth to a pair of twin calves, and the surprising delivery had been a cause for celebration for the entire town. The man and his wife had been expecting the calves for weeks and had been keeping a close eye on her to ensure that the birth would go smoothly. When the twins finally arrived, the couple had been thrilled and relieved to see that both calves were healthy and strong. The mother cow had also recovered quickly and was now as strong as ever. They hoped that she would be able to handle another double pregnancy in the future, but they knew that the chances were extremely low. Cows usually give birth to one calf at a time, and they had already experienced their own personal miracle. David and Julie had taken extra care of the twins to ensure their health and well-being, especially because they had been born prematurely, just like it happens with humans. The more fetuses develop in the mother's womb, the less room they have to grow and develop, and the sooner they start to fight for space. The man and his wife also knew that the first few hours after a calf is born are crucial, and they had closely monitored the cow's health and behavior during this time. They had made sure that each calf was getting enough milk and was able to stand up and walk around. The couple had worked tirelessly to ensure that each calf was well fed and cared for. David and Julie had taken turns feeding the calves, and they had even built a special pen for them in the barn to keep them safe and warm. They had known from the very first second that they had a big task ahead of them, 
but they had been determined to give each calf the best chance at survival. Mr. Ingram and his wife knew how strong a cow's maternal instincts were, and they had chosen not to leave the recent mother alone. So, they had left the strongest calf with the mother and taken the other to a private paddock to be monitored and hand-reared. Due to their expertise, David and Julie also knew that giving birth to twin calves must not have been easy for the cow, so they had taken extra care of her. They had monitored her health and ensured that she was always comfortable. Thankfully, she had healed quickly and gone back to her former self. In May, they noticed that the purebred Hereford cow was acting unusually. She was always lying on the grass and less active than she usually was. The cow also ate voraciously and kept increasing in size. To the ordinary eye, she might have looked sick, but to their expertise, she looked fine. They knew exactly what was wrong with her, the Hereford cow kept getting bigger and bigger, and soon there was an undeniable bulge in her abdomen. The farmers were beyond themselves with excitement when they saw her belly. Because they knew that it could only mean one thing, she was expecting, they made sure that she was comfortable and called the veterinary doctor often to check on her as her due date neared. They prepared a special paddock for her, so she could have her baby in a quiet environment. The couple made sure she had enough food and water to sustain her. They also checked on her at intervals to make sure that she was doing okay. As the days passed, they got increasingly excited about the upcoming birth. David and Julie had a little guessing game going on. The man was of the opinion that the cow would deliver another set of twins, while his wife insisted that she was going to have just one calf. They decided to wait until the next day to find out who was right and who was wrong and to leave the new mama alone to bond with her offspring for the entire night. The couple arrived very early to the pen the next morning to see what the cow had given birth to. They would never have guessed the kind of surprise they were in for. When they got to the pen, they saw the cow and one calf. At first, Julie was about to shout in excitement, thinking she had won the guessing game. But then David saw what she had actually given birth to and screamed in excitement. The man and his wife saw a second calf, and then a third, and finally a fourth. The cow had delivered quadruplets. They knew that she was healthy and strong, but it was extremely rare for a cow to give birth to quadruplets, and it was a first for the couple's farm. The couple checked all four calves to ensure that they were breathing fine and were doing well overall. They also checked for any signs of distress or discomfort and were elated when they found none. Still amazed, they called the veterinary doctor, who came to examine the cow and her calves. The physician was surprised to see the spectacle, he had also never seen anything like it in all his years of practice. Only one in a hundred thousand cows gave birth to twins, and quadruplets were rarer than that and almost unheard of. The doctor could not fathom how the cow was able to do something this extraordinary. Once again, the neighbors cheered for the incredible mama, and David and Julie Ingram became the talk of the town. The man and his wife took great pride in their work as cattle farmers. It was a lot of work sometimes, but events like this made it worthwhile. What an incredible surprise! Did you know that even animals like cows can give birth to multiple babies? How would you celebrate the birth of quadruplet calves? When an elderly woman rescued two motherless bear cubs, she had no idea she would adopt them as pets after years together. She wanted to release the bears back into the wild where they belonged, but they really proved to be pet material in an incredible way when she needed them most. Bonnie Hart was born and raised in Texas where she has lived her entire life, she is known to the people of her town. She is a brave, strong woman who lost her husband many years ago, but refuses to move out of the home they built together because it holds all the treasured memories of Bonnie's husband, Joshua, while he was alive. She has been a truck driver for decades and has done so well, she loves her job so much and refuses to quit, despite warnings from her children that she is too old to spend hours behind big wheels. They were also concerned that she would be lonely living alone, 
but aside from her impressive resilience, she never expressed interest in moving in with either of them, and she was also known for her warm personality. Known for her strong love for animals of all kinds, Bonnie is a frequent visitor to the local veterinarian for this reason, as she brings in various injured animals on a weekly basis. She's always on her back for stray dogs and is adored by neighborhood pets, so Bonnie's favorite rescue friend is her own dog, Billy, the German schnauzer. She found Billy badly injured on the side of the road while doing truck deliveries a few years ago, Bonnie took him to the local veterinarian for treatment, he needed a lot of rest to fully recover, Billy needed a lot of rest to fully recover, she volunteered to take him in. Since then they have become best friends. Fortunately, it has returned to health. Looking out her kitchen window one afternoon when she heard excited barking from the backyard, she was surprised to see Billy approaching the house with his two new canine friends, Billy bringing his two new companions. She ran out the back door to get a closer look, but there was no doubt it was a bear. Terrified for her and her dog, Bonnie picked up the phone to call the local animal rescue, and if there's one thing she knows, it's that bear cubs always have a protective mama who always close to them. Billy and his friends didn't pay much attention to these details, although they played happily in the backyard. She had been observing the animals without interfering because she did not want to disturb them. In fact, she didn't know what to do at all, and the cubs looked completely harmless, but it looked like they were having a rough few days. They were covered in dirt and scratched, and while they looked innocent, they were still bears. On the phone, animal rescue officials told her they were likely the cubs of a grizzly bear that had been caught in a trap a few days earlier. Unfortunately, the mother bear bled to death before help could arrive. Bears are very rare in their area, so her death was very tragic. Bonnie knew that if these cubs returned to the forest, they would not be able to survive on their own, they were small, tired, and weak, and looked like they hadn't eaten for days. Her heart breaks for the poor cubs as she wonders if they know their mother is dead. So she decided to try to help them and raise them. The first thing she has to do is try to get them clean. Surprisingly, when she hesitated out onto the lawn with the hose, they didn't cause any trouble. Bear and her dog seem to enjoy being sprayed, and it's like a fun little game for them. Bonnie knew exactly what the cubs liked to eat, and since she and Joshua had a little hunting experience, she made a quick concoction of softened puppy food and fish and served them in a bowl. The two bears became such an important part of Bonnie's family that she named them Ban Ban and Stone, everyone is used to Bonnie adopting many stray dogs but for her the bears were definitely next level because Bonnie loves these bears very much, and she is very protective of them. She knew they were still dangerous animals, they were always climbing trees in the backyard, having as much fun as they could, but she didn't trust them not to chase passersby, so she kept watching them and Billy tried to keep up with them. But after living with Bonnie for about four years they have grown from bear cubs to adult bears and Bonnie will not be able to fight them if a dangerous situation arises. This is very scary for many people. Billy had tragically passed away from cancer a few months ago, and it was just her and the bear, and she knew she had to get them out of here as soon as possible. Bonnie was on a long truck trip one day and wasn't feeling well, and when she got home eager to get back to her evening work, she thought it was just fatigue. The next morning, she didn't feel much better than the night before, but she went about her day's work in the afternoon as usual. Bonnie was out in the backyard with the bears, knitting in her favorite recliner on the porch and watching them play together, climb trees, and push each other. She didn't know what horror was going to happen hours later, and after a while, Bonnie got up and went into the house to take a nap, because she was still not feeling well, she only took a few steps in the direction of the house, when she suddenly fell down and fell hard on the ground. Two bears rushed to her side and tried to nudge her awake, but she did not respond to their touch. They do a truly incredible thing. Ban Ban rushed to the neighbor's house next door, which he was quite familiar with, while Stone sat beside Bonnie and continued to push her. Fortunately, the neighbor, Mr. Miller, was at home and was about to go out when he heard a loud roar coming from the yard. 
He recognized the sound of a bear and initially feared that the neighbor's pet had become feral and was coming to attack him when he went out the door to face it. He found Ban Ban pacing up and down incessantly, apparently wanting him to follow him as soon as he saw that he had the human's attention. The bear immediately turned and started running home. Mr. Miller hesitates for a second before following it, and when Mr. Miller tails Ban Ban to Bonnie's house, he finds her lying unconscious on the floor with rocks beside her. He immediately called 911 for help, and paramedics arrived shortly after and took the elderly woman to the hospital. Bonnie was treated in the hospital for about a week, and when she finally got home, the bear nearly held her in his arms. Mr. Miller told Bonnie that, thanks to the bear, he had plenty of time to get there for help. The old woman was amazed at their fidelity and decided that she would keep them as long as time allowed. After all, they really became her pets. Now, what do you think about adopting wild animals as pets? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.